<clears throat> long overdue is going to be a cut and thrust review test on my Honshu broadsword. Alright, I did a Calorico unboxing video, that's where I, the vendor that I got this from originally, um, unboxing. Uh, check that out, I give some specs on it. Uh, on my side here, I also move that over a little bit. Also have the Honshu Quillen uh, dagger. We're going to be uh, showcasing that one as well in this video. But uh, this will be my first time getting to do some good cut and thrust testing with this. I have never tried this sword out. Um, just wanted to get a little bit better at my own format of cut and thrust testing. So primarily what we do is uh, plastic bottles and wood, some wood targets for the most part. Um, I'd like to get to hard cardboard one day and maybe some of those foam, foam targets. But I'm still a beginner, so we're going to get right into it. This is the uh, Honshu training, uh, not training, Honshu uh, broadsword. This is a 1060 high carbon steel. Beautiful, uh, thick bladed sword. Very thick. So I'm hoping that doesn't throw off my cutting too much. Um, it's not the lightest sword in the world, but it does have a good balance. So I may be, even be able to pull off some one-handed. So we're going to get right into it. All right. Uh, not bad. I went a little high on the cut, but I definitely cut it. So one thing I must say, this is a part of the functional review that we're doing. I'm actually testing out the... Uh, scabbard here nice leather um i guess sword frog if you will i don't know if that's an accurate term but um carrying swords around long like this this is a big sword um you're kind of going to be knocking into things which i just did uh, let me make sure this is level kind of knocked it a little loose there you can see nice big long sword overall between the back the end of the pommel to the blade so you're going to kind of be knocking into things just a disclaimer but um it is manageable Let's see if I can, I want to try to do a draw cut, like a samurai would. Eh, a little too long to pull that out. Okay, so let's try that again. Maybe not the best sword for a draw cut. That was really tough to get all this blade out of there. Um... Seems like I hit the bottle with some good force. I chopped the label, but I didn't quite penetrate through. All right, we're going down to a thinner plastic. I really want to see if I can get a good precise cut with this thing. Much better, much better. That felt much better. All right, let me get that out of the way. And let's go on to a thicker plastic. Try the other side of it. I don't know if it's my edge alignment, but this is a thick blade. So, cut through the thicker bottle as well. So another heavier strike test. I'm gonna try a bigger bottle. Nice thick plastic. Coming in on the other side this time. A really powerful blade. Let's see here. Went in but didn't quite penetrate. Um, I don't know if it's my uh, form. I'll blame it on myself before the blade, but at the same time, this is a very thick, thick blade if you can see there. Um, see all that? Some reviews I've seen on this blade uh, show that the edge retention is really incredible. Um, I'm going to do some hard tests myself, but I think it may be a good idea to reprofile it if you can. There it is. 
in all its glory. I'm not the best with these small bo smaller bottles and smaller targets for a little more precision that I feel that I really have. But I'm going to try it anyways. See if I can get a nice precise cut. Now this is an interesting thing to see happen here. Um, I hit with enough force right across here that it uh, actually bursted the bottle right up here. I didn't. My blade came in. My blade came in this way, but I have a burst going this way. Oddly enough. All right, I'm going to start with a bottle that has a nice thick plastic, but a little less mass at the top. I'm going to work my way down with horizontal strikes. Horizontal strikes are so it takes time to be. I'm going to see if I can work my way down, if I don't knock this thing down completely on the first go. Alright. Well, I'm glad I got that one off. Now, I really wouldn't necessarily want to use this as a one-handed weapon. This thing has got some weight to it. It's decently balanced, so I can find the point relatively easy, you know, whenever I swing, which is really good uh, for the weight. This thing has incredible balance. You can definitely maneuver it fairly well. Um, but I just, I feel like it'd be a, a big strain on the wrist, you know, in these one-handed hits. But that being said, we're gonna try it anyways. I'm gonna pair it up with this dagger as an extra parrying tool maybe, you know, if you felt like you needed some uh, assistance in a bind or to run a sort of dual wielding scenario. So let's see how I can pull this off if I can. Wish me luck. All right, unfortunately, I uh, knocked it down. I couldn't follow up with my uh, dagger like I wanted to, so we're going to try that again. All right, we're going to try that again. I realized with the grip that I had, the guard that I had, I guess you could say, when I came in for my cut, I ended up hitting my own dagger with the pommel of my sword, so I'm going to try moving it in a different, out of the way, you know, in a different stance this time. See if I can get a better result. Let's pick that up. All right. Broke through the handle, got a good cut, but not quite all the way through. I'm gonna switch arms. See if I can pull off something similar. No, oh, not a bad cut. So yes, it is heavy. I feel uh, prolonged use, you may, but not really too bad. You may tire on your shoulder and your wrist, but this is nice, you know, for uh, the balance that it has for a one-handed sword, for, for, you know, basically a bastard sword, basically, you know, pretty much almost two-handed. I would say that's about two hands, almost, almost there, you know, a good hand and a half length if you needed to do some one-handed stuff as well you can you know um let's go ahead and continue let's see if i can get a good depth cut before that a little dagger redemption since i didn't really get to use the dagger and all uh, those last strikes like i wanted to and maybe that's a good thing maybe you know you don't have to follow up with the dagger if the uh, primary sword does all the damage it needs to anyways we're gonna test out this dagger real fast. Nice. I see any water in there? No. Nah. 
Oh yeah. That feels nice. That is very, very nice. Yep, still landed the cut on that one pretty well. Try a thicker plastic now. Yep. And one last to go. All right. Not bad, the dagger does well also. All right, I'm gonna be amazed if I get through this many bottles, this kind of mass, with the sword that's due to the uh, geometry of the edge. Nothing against the sword. The sword swings, it feels great, which is, you know, definitely the primary functions. But edge, sharpness, is important. All right. Went through all of them. 